gentlemen, moms and dads, children of all ages. Welcome to another exclusive Mr. Leonard production. It's called The News You Review, the first 100 years. You'll be hearing an album jam packed full of the greatest hits. Wait, wait, wait a minute, you little weasel. What are you talking about the first 100 years? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Gary, Rush, John, Claire, Coach Mike. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? It's our album, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Besides, the zoo's only been around for seven years, since 1983. Come on. That's it. Shh. Don't you know anything about sales and marketing? It's called beefing it up and blemishment. Uh, hyperbole. You know, exaggeration for the sake of emphasis. Besides, uh, nobody remembers back to 1983 anyway. Okay, Mr. Leonard, just sit down over there on the discipline couch while <laughs> we kick things off, okay? No, we'll sit on a discipline card. All right, fine. John, Bill, Claire, and Mike. Wackos and weirdos and reverts and preverts and bimbos and bimbats there too. It's all for you. On the Z Morning Zoo. Hi, it's Ross, Gary, and the entire Z Morning Zoo. And right off the bat, we'd like to thank you for buying the album. Not only are you going to get some of the best moments from the last year on the zoo, but you're also going to do something great for a lot of deserving kids because all the proceeds from the album go to benefit Z100 Children's Charities. And now, let's jump into that Z100 time machine and review the year 1990. Oh yeah, last year was the year I got another brand new partner. <laughs> Gary Bryan joined us on the Z Morning Zoo. Well, thank you so much, Ross. And you know, I beat out some very stiff competition like... Maury Povich, Mr. T, Al Roker, Geraldo Rivera, of course, Yoko Ono, and let's not forget, Ed Koch. Yeah, they were stiff. This was also the year that the godfather, John Gotti, got off, uh, yeah. and Donald Trump got on. Huh? Marla Maples. And the year wasn't very old when we got a brand new mayor, the city's first black mayor, David Dinkins. Yeah, but that didn't stop us from having fun with him. When you just can't make up your mind. I'm undecided. In the mood for something really nondescript? Hmm. If you don't like anything at all, but feel like you gotta have something, head on down to Dinkins Donuts. Dinkins Donuts. Uh, personally, I don't uh, even like them. But uh, if you are a Democrat, you uh, have to eat uh, whatever garbage they uh, feed you. Dinkins Donuts. And at the Dinkins Donuts, we have the uh, new Giuliani Jelly Roll. Of course, it's truly uh, full of it. <laughs> That's just a joke. Ross, Gary, and the entire zoo crew will be back with more of whatever they do right after this. <laughs> You're despicable! Hey there! Have you ever said to yourself, Boy, would I like to own a hotel? A yacht? Maybe even an airline? Well, now you can, because Donald Trump needs cash, cash, cash! That's right, but Donald is in debt up to his... <gasps> so he's having a fabulous one-time-only kiss-my-ass-heads-goodbye sale. Yes, everything is slashed to sell. Buy the Plaza Hotel. Originally $400 million, now just $299, $999, $999. Want the castle? No hassle. Get a hotel with a big tea on it. A plane with a tea. A casino with a tea. Cups of tea. Mr. Tea. Golf teas. And the ultimate teas, Marla Maples. And look, even Marla's jeans are half off. Ooh. It's a terrific sale. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Because the Donald just wrote a new book, and he's up to chapter. 11. Yes, he's got trouble. Right here in New York City. With a capital T, that rhymes with D, and that stands for debt. It's Donald Trump's Kiss My Assets Goodbye Sale. Because, like Merv Griffin says... <laughs> Ross and Gary! Forget the Grammys, forget the American Music Awards. That's foreplay. This is the show right here, okay? C100.
You know, guys, as I look back in 1990, I'll never forget my first day on the Z Morning Zoo when who should walk into the nut hut but William Shatner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Captain Kirk. He had a copy of his new book. Now, what, what was it, Ross, how to eliminate Klingons in the 21st century? Tech Wars. It was Tech Wars, Gary. Oh, yeah, right. But, you know, we had a bigger surprise for him. We arranged a reunion with an old pal from Star Trek. One of your co-stars on the Star Who's Trek that? series, Mr. Scott James Doohan is with you. Bring him in the room. Me. Yeah, come on. Jimmy. Hello, Captain. Hi. How you doing, sir? How are you, Jim? What are you doing here? I've got no power. The matter anti matter reactors are going into overload. Oh, cut it out, The Jimmy. dilithium crystals won't hold Jimmy, out. Jimmy, cut it out. No power? we got to know it. Our power no, at no, the no, most. No, professionally. 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 What have you been doing professionally? Well, things have been a bit slow since the <laughs> since the movie. Wait a minute, Jimmy's c- cut the kidding around. Uh, no, you went on to do that uh, Barnaby Coast thing, but did you call me? No. I no. would have called you, Jimmy, if I had your number. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Then of course there's the there's the T.J. Hooker thing. Yes. But did you call Mr. Scott? No, but you can't oh. run. Uh, right. He can't run. Oh, I'd have been a great guest from Scotland Yard, sir. <laughs> well, that's true. I hadn't thought of right that, Right next Jim. to Heather Locke. It would have been great. <laughs> and then you get your rescue 911 yes. thing. Do you call? No. No. No, 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 no. no I no. didn't know you needed emergency help. Oh, <laughs> throw me a bone, sir. I mean, not even a margarine commercial. Please. <laughs> Actually, got, uh, you got a book here. You're right? poking fun at a guy who makes a living. I don't understand that, Jimmy. Let's take a look at the book here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott. Pretty oh, See no Mr. Scott here. No. Not in the book. No, that's oh. true. There's no Mr. Scott in I'm the book. I'm afraid not. Jimmy, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, thank you. Will you ever forgive me? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Possibly, sir. Possibly, sir. You've got to make it up to me, sir. <laughs> I'd like the green girl. You know, the one from the episode. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, this is Detective Barney Five here, and every professional starts his day by listening to the Z Morning Zoo with Ross and Gary. And if you don't do it, you're not a professional. You got that? So just nip the whip in the bud. Just nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it. And B does. Don't you, Aunt B? Yes, Bonnie, I do. Ross and Gary. Good morning, Z100. Good morning, Z100. Hello, Gary, Ross. Uh, Mr. Mr. Leonard. Is that you? Yeah, yeah we can barely hear you. Well, I can barely hear you. I'm <laughs> it. What's the problem? Well, I... I'm talking to you on my brand new Sports Illustrated sneaker phone. Uh, sneaker yeah. phone? I topped, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing it right now. Oh, no. Oh. It. That's great, but you're talking to the bottom of the shoe. We we can hardly hear you. Get, get, the, clo- get the phone closer to your mouth. What'd you say? Get, get the phone, phone closer, closer to your, your mouth. mouth. Get the phone closer to my mouth. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, 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 How's that? Uh, Oh, man. That's not what we meant, Mr. Leonard. Take the shoe off. What? Take the shoe. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me take the damn shoe off. (laughs) Yeah, good idea. (laughs) Jeez. What is it? Oh, I got a knot. Oh, come on. I got a knot in my shoe. There he is. There he is. <laughs> what is he doing, this guy? It's, you oh. dropped the phone, Mr. Leonard. I look like a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, is it? That's, that's a, much better. That's yeah, better. pretty good deal for a subscription to Sports Illustrated magazine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And the one other... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, there's something in my ear. Hold on. Oh, no. What's the problem? Oh, that's terrible. What? I knew I shouldn't have used this thing to go out and get the newspaper. Oh, no. 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 I think I stepped in something. Oh, Mr. Leonard. Look, I'll call you back, and don't call me in the meantime. <laughs> so I'll have to answer this thing. Bye. Okay, goodbye. I'm on my way. And now... Z100's hidden microphones take you behind the scenes, inside the jury room of the John Gotti trial in New York. This guy is so guilty. Lock him up. Lock him up. Hang it. He's from in jail. Guilty as sin. Put him away. Put him away from a while. Guilty. All right. Hang him. All right. All right. Pass in all your votes, everybody. All right. Rossi. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. 
Let's have a cheer for all the fellas. Do just what the Godfather tells us. Rip off an arm, mess up a face, then drag his butt all over the place. Courtrooms pumping, DAs jumping, still can't find all the bodies we're dumping. Garbage contracts all f up, just sending the boys in Boston mob. Families out in Ozone Park, busting balls while the night's still dark. You know we control all the broads and the booze. We'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Union leaders, you better listen up. We got John O'Connor shot in the butt. The Gambino family's got all the luck. So come on, got father, let me bust them up. Come on, huh? You keep that up, sweetheart. You'll be spitting chiclets in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I wanna bust you up, huh? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, hey, no problem. We always grant you your last wishes before you sleep with all those fishes. Kissing the lips when you're ready for bed, you pull back the covers, oh, a horse's head. Pay off a witness, you can't knock it. Testify, we'll put a rocket in your pocket. Jimmy Hoffa thought he had his beat, but our concrete solution was end zone seats. Using ball bats, busting kneecaps, got brass knuckles if you really need that. Punching stool pigeons for they squeal, a silence 38 is a hell of a deal. Sword or shotgun will make you sob, that's what you get when you cross the mob. The Gambino family's got all the luck, so Godfather, please let me bust them up, man. Huh? Hey, come here, meet my friend Joey Tree Fingers. Yeah, you keep that up, I'll hit you so hard when you wake up, your clothes will be out of style. 1990 was the year America's Funniest Home Videos became America's number one TV show. But the funniest home video never made it to the show. Rob Lowe's video taped in that hotel room in Atlanta. And when Rob decided he finally wanted to talk about it, who did he talk to in his first major interview? <laughs> the Z Morning Zoo, of course. Oh, yeah. You know, I had a really... Uh, I had a difficult year. And, uh, <laughs> well said. Well said. I am the king of understatement. And, uh, you know, I don't mind, you know, being a public figure. And, and uh, you know, I, when you make a mistake, you got to take uh, responsibility for it. And I certainly yeah. do that. But, uh, but after a while, uh, it gets old. You know what I mean? The Z Morning Zoo. I'm butt naked. On Z100. You can catch this. You can touch this. You can touch this. You can touch this. My, my, my. You can touch this. Every time you see me, my zipper is on duty. I'm out with some cutie, and I gotta touch your booty. Now, why would I ever stop doing this? I've flown around the world from Cleveland to the Bay. It's zipper go, my zipper. That's right, you guys can kiss my A. You can touch this. You can touch this. You can touch this. Break it down. Zipper time. It's rotation. You will say. Oh my gracious, when you get my love and tactics, I got gels and prophylactics. Here's a thing you cannot dodge, come to the six pins motor lodge. It may be grand, a bit too much. You can touch this. You can touch this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> touch this. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> you can touch this. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, you can touch this. Oh, I think we got the Grand Teton in effect. You can touch this. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Good morning, Z100. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little upset about you guys making fun of uh, Life Alert and Life Alert Life Call. Excuse me? There's a lot of old people out there. You know, it's tough being old. You got a tough time. You guys are making fun of it. I don't think that's right. Well, I understand, sir, but I mean the commercials are just a little bit yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one day you, you know, you might have a hard time one day, and then. Uh, Sir? Hello? Sir? H Hello? Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> I've fallen! I can't get up! <laughs> Thank you for calling, sir! Help! I'm falling! I'm We're sending help. We're sending help. We're sending help. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. I'm, 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 I'm having chest pain. We 
one of the most requested songs on the Z Morning Zoo every single day on Z100. I think Mrs. Fletcher is kind of destined to be the Clara Pillar of the 90s. <laughs> you may be right. And you know, we've interviewed a lot of celebrities, but there's nothing quite like the rush you get when you pick up the phone at 7.30 in the morning and there's Bill Cosby on the other end. That's right, Russ. Bill and that cartoon upstart Bart Simpson were neck and neck in the ratings in 1990 when Bill heard the Morning Zoo talking about the controversy surrounding the mural on the opening credits for his show. So the cause called up the zoo to explain he hadn't ripped off the kids who'd done the original. As far as I am concerned, as far as the show is concerned, the, the, the children have been uh, misled mm. by this lady. There, there are contracts that were supposed to be negotiated on. Uh, we didn't rip them off. We put things in our mural that they don't have. We put Mother Hale in there. We put, uh, there was a hypodermic needle with the Ghostbuster thing, and then there's a dead body beside it. Well, the message is, is there. Then we have a family, and then we have Mother Hale and the word excellence and other things. I just feel that these kids are being uh, misrepresented by this person. It, it'll go back on the air. Right. But I wanted to go back on the air when these kids have an understanding that that mural was put up there to give them some pride and something that they can say, you know, we're responsible for this and not, listen, you know, give us some money for merchandising and uh, this is, you know, you feel like a guy driving a train. You look out and there's little ponies and little kids with guns looking up saying, throw down the, that box. <laughs> But every, every, I was just upset because when I got, now this is, this is the truth, uh, not that the other stuff isn't, but I'm in the, in the truck going to work and the driver, his face is on the floor. He says, boy, they're really beating you up, aren't they? Mm. I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, I was listening to, and this is the truth, mm -hmm. said, my, my favorite uh, program in the morning is the Z100. And then the guy read the thing and he said, well, you know, it's a shame those people with all that money and uh, they can't give, it, give some of it to the kids. And I said, well, man, you know, when you read it in the paper, by the time the Daily News finishes, leaving out the buster Side and making this woman right. sound like she's really uh, something hot to go. And then you put the kids on TV and they're going, well, he owes us money because they're stealing the merchandising. We've never merchandised anything in all the years that we've been doing the show. So I just wanted to get to you guys and say, well, thank you very much for the time you, you've given me. I'd like to call the next time and just talk about nothing and just act silly. <laughs> you know? My, my, my rating soaring sky. Hi. Stupid Bart's gonna cry. Thank you for making me show you up, cause I'm Cosby feels good. To whoop your butt, cause I gotta show you can't touch. This cowabunga, Bart. Totally crazy, man. Can't touch me. I'm Cosby. Who the hell are you? Bart Simpson. I'm Cosby. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Bill Cosby's TV show. So bad, makes me say I'm being had. Well, thank you for showing me. If you watch Bill's show, you're dumber than a tree. Hey, Bart, unplug the TV. You'll learn about life by looking at me, not Cosby. Turn it down another notch, because this is a show you can't watch. He's such a wiener. Don't watch that. They're worse than the Brady. Don't watch that. Marge. Whoa, mama. Don't watch that. <laughs> Eat my shorts. Listening to the old and the new Z morning review in the last 100 years, 1890. Phew! What a mouthful! Jeez, a lot of nutcases in here. Hello, Kitty Rush. Mr. Leonard. I know. 
what you're going to say. Yeah. But right now, I'm on my way. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, she won't have to show me the note today. I'm calling from the, my cellular phone in my long green pinto, and I'm on the Cross Bronx Expressway, and I'm rolling, baby. What? Well, what can we do for you if you're almost here, Mr. Leonard? Well, don't do anything till I get there. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. What's that sound, Mr. Leonard? Hold on a second. So oh, shit. <laughs> Ralph, this is all your fault. What do you mean it's all my fault? I was talking to you. I didn't watch our first I was... I better pull over. Uh, Mr. Leonard, is that a policeman? A oh, good guess, Ross. <laughs> here he comes, and he looks mad. <laughs> May I see your license and registration, please? What? May I see your license and registration, please? Mr. Leonard, he's singing. What is he singing? Oh, God. I think it's a cop rock. (laughs) You mean a cop rock cop? Yeah, it's a a cop rock cop from the other cop quartet or something. (laughs) Uh, Officer, uh, I don't think I was going that fast. I believe uh, if you'll check your radar... He's not saying nothing. He's just staring at me. Well, why, why don't you try singing back to him, man? Oh, yeah, good idea. Okay. I believe I was going the speed limit. <laughs> You're going 14 miles over the limit in a construction zone, sir. Please miss your license. Um, he wants to see my license. Well, give it to him. Yeah, show him. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> One moment, please. I believe my license is here somewhere. Let me look in the glove compartment. Uh, <laughs> it's taken out of your wallet. Where's the fire? Why were you hurrying so? Look. He's killing me. He's pretty good. <laughs> He's in the car while I check this out. Turn off your engine. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's dancing back to his car. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mr. Leonard, I'll tell you what, man. Ask him if he knows Moni Moni and get back to us, okay? Hey, over there. <laughs> you know Moni Moni? That's very funny. I don't do request. <laughs> Did he call me Butcher? <laughs> well, good luck, man. We'll see you when you get in here. Goodbye. I'll be there soon as I can. You don't have to sing guys, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. (laughs) Goodbye. Okay, we'll see you later. We lost New York publisher Malcolm Forbes this year and also some very beloved showbiz figures. In fact, two of the greatest in a bizarre coincidence died on the very same day. The Muppets creator, Jim Henson, who brought joy to millions of people of all ages around the world. And the legendary Sammy Davis Jr. lost his long battle with cancer. We remember Sammy now, as we did then, with our own version of Funky Frank and Dino. And now here's a, well, it's kind of a nutty, kicky little story about me and Dean and Frank (laughs) and the time that the Rat Pack thought they would go out and be the Brat Pack, George. Chunka, chinka, chinka, chong. Yeah, babe. Yeah, do it to me, George. Chinka, 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 chonka, chinka, chinka, chong. You know... A cat gets to be my age, you're not getting older, you're just getting hipper and groovier. I love you, man. I was hanging out in Vegas, babe, just grooving with the cats. Me and the homeboys jumped in my ride to go check out the acts. I tell my posse they're looking fresh and deaf and hip and clean. I'm rapping like a funky bro, but I don't know what it means. We're tooling down the strip, man. We're scoping out the rooms. Now Shecky's at the Hilton Bay and Kreskin's at the Dunes. We don't need reservations for seats in the casino because the maitre d' will know it's me with Funky Frank and Dino. You, you can't help but recognize people that are the essence, the essence of showbiz, like Frank and Dean and the marvelous people in Vegas that open up and share their love with you. Now Jerry's playing Caesars, so we stop to catch the show. He sees us sitting ringside, and it's up on stage I go. It's Sammy Davis Jr., is that your eye? Now, Jerry Dig, I've got a gig with Funky Frank and Dino. Wayne Newton's at the Nugget, so we stop to check on Wayne. We order up three spritzers while he's singing Don Shane. They call him Mr. Vegas, babe, but we wish he'd go to Reno. Cause his high-pitched voice just ain't the choice with Funky Frank and Dino. Don Shane, whoa, my darling cried, daddy don't 
she was so fast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Wayne Newton. How about a big round of applause for the size of my hair this evening? You know, they call me Mr. Las Vegas, but only because it's true. We're deciding what to do next, and then things go astray. Dino grabs his liver, and Frank loses his toupee. The room fills up with tourists, a busload from Encino. Can't take no more, I'm out the door with Funky Frank and Dino. But it wasn't easy getting out of there. I think one of my artificial hips popped. Got, they're covered with Teflon. And sometimes they just act up. Dina, you old lady, you're standing on my wig. There's a pain in my side. I think my liver's fried. I'm gonna belt this broad if she don't get off my hair pretty soon. You know, when I think back, the three of us have probably had more pots replaced than a 62 Buick engine. But if you're offended, remember in Vegas, babe, we kid because we love, and I mean that, man. Well, congratulations. You've made it through side one of the best of the Z Morning Zoo album. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What about me? What about you, Mr. Stress? It's come to my attention that I heretofore have not appeared on this greatest hits album. That's, That's right. right. Are you daring to imply that I, Mr. Stress, made no significant contribution to your radio show in the year of our Lord, 1990? Uh, well, uh... Answer me! <laughs> well, we do have something from you uh, coming up on side two, Mr. Stress. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, Time is an enemy. We it got... robs us a play for us and tick, tick, ticks away. Well, see... Turn this record over. Oh, Don't oh, wait another instant. Turn it over now. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't a vinyl album. That's what's wrong with you two horniacs. No sense of humor. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>